Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is using Pulsar 8200 as a mid-side mastering EQ. I'm using it in three ways to help the balance of my master. So I'm bringing out the kick without muddying up the sides. I'm pushing back the overheads without affecting the vocals in the mid-channel. And I'm also adding intelligibility to those vocals without lifting the overheads. So on kick, I can boost the low end on the mid channel without muddying up the sides. And on this particular recording, I can get under the bass using my frequency control just to give that kick a little bit more punch. Roll it out. And I can fine tune the bandwidth and the frequency just to make sure that I don't catch the bottom end of the bass there as well. But some overlap isn't going to hurt. Now the beauty of mid-side EQ is that I can add presence to my vocals in the mid-channel without affecting the overheads. So listen how I move this gain control around without affecting the overheads. So it's only at the extremes that it's taking the overheads with it there. So that's really useful. So I'm fully exploiting that over on my overheads because I can pull down in almost exactly the same frequency range without pulling that intelligibility out of my vocals. And as soon as I do dial the HF back in, those overheads really do start to take over. Just pull them back there without affecting the vocals. Very cool. And of course, the Pulsar has some other features as well, which make it well suited to mastering. So I have a little bit of low cut here just to get rid of any subsonic rubbish. I've got a tiny little bit of air here as well. So two features there that aren't available on the units that inspires the Pulsar 8200. I'm also liking the tilt control as well, so I can tip the balance without affecting the relationship between the frequencies that I've dialed in. The darker. Right it up. So making a real positive difference to the balance of my mix there. That's using Pulsar 8200 for mid-side mastering EQ. To find out more about these techniques and about Pulsar 8200, head over to the Production Experts blog.